Hey guys, so I've had some major problems during the past year of my Samsung Galaxies. So this covers everything from needing a physical repair for no apparent reason, to massive software bugs that have not been resolved. Even Samsung's latest flagship, the S20 Ultra, has the worst camera focusing I've ever seen. And I'm only getting started. These issues only occur with my recent Samsungs, uh, not any of my other Android phones. And they're bad enough that I need to make a video about them. Now I am a big Samsung fan and I've not had any problems with Samsung phones in previous years, but I think during this past year Samsung has just created too many flagships and thus are losing focus. Let's start with the Galaxy S10 Plus. So several months ago my phone randomly had a permanent white bar appear at the bottom, as well as lower brightness. After doing some research I found others had the same exact issue, and the only solution was to get the screen repaired. Fortunately I was still under warranty at the time and I was able to contact Samsung and got it repaired for free. But that said, I still needed to factory reset the phone, and the repair process took a few weeks. Further, I didn't cause the issue, as the phone has always been in excellent shape, and once again, it was just a random occurrence. So, this issue aside, I really liked the phone, but I definitely didn't expect my first phone repair to be for a $1,700 flagship. I hope others who encounter this issue are still under warranty, and hopefully I just got a mucky with it. Next, onto the Galaxy Fold, which of course needs no introduction. Obviously this phone, along with the Galaxy Note 7, have had bigger durability issues than any other phones in history. Even after Samsung completely recalled the review units last year and remade the phone, the final version is still extremely fragile. Now I'm not going to discuss those issues because this is of course a first gen product, and they're definitely well documented by others. I'm also not going to focus on Samsung removing the headphone jack uh, for this phone and the others after it, even though I definitely miss it. That said, many people including myself have had issues receiving software updates. To be specific, I'm still on the September 2019 security patch and Android 9. Now this is the AT&T variant and I have an AT&T SIM card, so I'm not sure what the issue is. But obviously for a phone that costs over $2100, uh, this kind of error is unacceptable. Now Samsung did finally release Android 10 in the United States last month, and many other people received the update, but I and some others are not amongst them. Further, some apps like Asphalt 8 don't run in unfolded mode, no matter what I try. So it's possible of course that this glitch was fixed in Android 10, but I want to know about that. The problem with phones like the Fold is that the sales are extremely low by flagship standards. So Samsung is not only a lot slower providing updates, but also when errors like this do occur, they are a lot less likely to be found and fixed. The Note 10 Plus I'm happy to say is the one phone here without any errors. So I was planning to use it to film this video. Instead I'm using the LG V60 because I need to use a wide angle lens to film this. And for some reason none of these Samsungs can record wide angle videos at 60 FPS. Now granted that's not a software glitch, it's the same for everyone, but it is something that the competition is offering for a lot less money. So if we're spending one to $2,000 on these phones, then I expect for the cameras to work above 30 FPS, especially while in 1080p mode. Aside from that, this is a great phone and I recommend it if you're fine with not having full wide angle support, but I can't say the same for a phone I'll discuss in a minute. Next we have the Z Flip. This phone like the Fold is first gen and has not sold a lot of units, so it's more prone to niche and thus unnoticed glitches. One error I had for the first several months is that the clock was always off for 2 hours when I set the date and time to automatic. It really bugged me, and when I tried setting the clock manually to the correct time, it caused a lot of problems with apps that require the date and time to be set automatically. So I spent a lot of time researching, but I could not find a solution, and thus I spent several months with the wrong time. Uh, you will see the incorrect time in my ZFlip comparison video. Fortunately, the most recent OS update did fix this issue, but I've still come across other smaller glitches, far more than I have for most other phones. Now, these foldables for now, they're really more beta products, so it's tough to recommend them given the high prices and experimental tech.
finally we're moving on to the phone which I have the biggest problem with. Samsung's highest end phone to date, the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. So this phone has a massive camera bump which is annoying to use but I can deal with that. What I can't deal with though is a terrible focusing. So it's well documented that the auto focusing on this phone is beyond broken and according to reports it's likely a hardware issue with the new lens. So in other words, it probably can't be corrected through software updates. This is the worst autofocus I've ever used, despite it having the largest camera bump. Now Samsung has sent out some software updates, which have helped a tiny bit, but the problem still remains. I recorded my last phone battles video with the latest software, but I had to redo a bunch of the sections due to the camera going completely out of focus. I also tried recording different types of videos for other channels, and once again had the same issue. So I really wanted to give Samsung some time for this. I wanted them to correct the issue before making a video about it. But now I'm really not optimistic. I don't think it's ever going to be fixed. Do note that this doesn't always happen. You can even have a perfect video. But it does happen enough where I and others no longer use it for filming. Because it's just too risky to use. Um, especially if you're recording something that's a one-time thing. You know, like let's say for example if you're recording someone playing a sport. You know, it's a one-time thing, and if you miss it, then you miss it. I won't return this phone because I want to continue making videos about it in the future, but otherwise I would definitely return it, given the $1,700 price point and how often I record videos. I bought every major Samsung that has come out during the past five years, and it's really only been the past year that I've had any issues. I believe this is because Samsung is offering too many products, including experimental ones like the Fold and the Z Flip. Instead of rushing out so many expensive variants, they should have slowed down a bit and focus on a few at a time. Finally, I want to note that some of these phones, especially the S10 and the Note 10, do work flawlessly for many people, but I'm simply not one of them. As mentioned, I am a big Samsung fan, and I have used a lot of their phones as my daily throughout the years. So I do hope that they return to form. All I'm doing here is I'm telling you my own experiences, but I'd like to know yours too. So let me know your thoughts below. Hopefully you've had better luck than I have. All that aside, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and stay safe.